hey guys welcome back so in previous video we covered how can we use the filter uh, within a given a list maybe i have five attributes and i want to filter those attributes using one of the property attribute how can we how can we filter it in this video we will cover how can we use the variation field of content fragment now just to, to refresh the memory variation is nothing but when we create a content fragment we can create variations of the same content fragment let's understand it so for example i have these content fragments and uh, let me edit one of the content fragment and here we can see there is something called create variation now we have master variation we have other variations nothing but the for the same content fragment i i want to have multiple copies maybe with the different uh, property values so for example master is having book one and ispn one here i'll create a variation called three and in this one i want to change the title book one with variation and maybe i has been also with variation <clears throat> so what we have done for uh, for this book one content fragment we have created a new uh, variation called three let's save it now let's go back to our graphql editor and this time i want to filter i want to get the list of items but since book one is having uh, multiple variations i just want to pick one of them which is maybe three so what i will do i'll just pass here if we just use control space we have this variation and uh, colon i will pass three So let's first execute it without anything. What I'm getting is there are two objects, uh, book one and book two, and both are coming with master variation. Okay, but for book one, I have created one more variation. I just want to select that. So I will just go here. I will put control space variation alone, and the value should be. Three. and if i just execute this one see for book two we we have only one master but for book one we have a variation called three with the changed values and this time we are getting the changed value so th this is how we can use the uh, variation attribute within the list to get the particular variation thank you so much for watching